All it takes is to electrify one neuron, and you've got yourself a brain party. Neurons can be tiny, but they've got big responsibilities. They're the basic generative nervous system, and their structure allows them to act as the brain's personal messengers. To give you a brief explanation about the nervous system, it's made up of the central nervous system, CNS, which includes the brain and the spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, PNS, which includes the cranial and spinal nerves. The cranial nerves are attached to the brain and the spinal nerves to the spinal cord. The peripheral nerves take the message to the brain in the CNS to get the message decoded and for an action to be generated. I want you to pinch yourself right now on your fingertip. Just do it. Okay, let's continue. Information, or rather the message, travels in the form of impulses along nerve cells at very high speeds. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call the neurons. These neurons are of three types. The one that takes the impulse towards the CNS, the sensory neurons. The one that takes the impulse away from the CNS, the motor neurons. These two are outside the CNS. And then there is the one that lies inside the CNS called the Roulet neuron or the interneuron. When you pinch yourself, the sensory neurons on that area of your skin got activated. These neurons have receptors that detected the pressure of the pinch and send signals in response to that stimulus. To make it more simple, sensory neurons are for sensing the stimulus. Stimulus is just something that stimulates or excites the neurons, which in this case is the pinch. The sensory neurons take this impulse all the way toward the central nervous system, where they pass it to the relay neurons. The relay neuron collects a signal and sends it to the brain. After the brain figures out what to do, it gives the signal back to the relay neuron with some special orders. The relay neuron then transmits that message to the motor neuron. Motor means something that produces an action. So these neurons take the impulse back towards that area and instructs the effectors to perform the action. Effectors are the ones that produce responses for the stimulus. The key point is that don't pitch yourself ever again like it's no big deal. The neurons in the brain have to work super fast to figure out an action in just the blink of an eye. Now, about the structure of a neuron. This is what it looks like. Pretty cool, right? These branches are called dendrites, and they catch all the gossip in form of neurotransmitters from neighboring neurons. Soma is the command center of the neuron. In simple terms, it's called the cell body, and it's the region where the nucleus and other cell organelles are located. Then we have the axon hillock, which acts as a traffic cop. It determines whether the incoming signals from the dendrites and the cell body are strong enough to trigger an action potential, aka the impulse. If the signals meet a certain threshold, the exon hillock gives the green light, and then the impulse travels down this region known as the exon. Then we have the exon terminals which packages up the messages with care and sends them off to the next neuron. The space here between these two neurons is what we call the synapse. The neurotransmitters are released in this region, which are then received by the dendrites of the next neuron. The some neurons wear a special kind of exon jacket. It's called a myelin sheath, which is a type of a fatty protective layer. This sheath is made up of Schwann cells, which facilitate the rapid and efficient transmission of nerve impulses without its degradation. These type of neurons are called myelinated neurons. Then, what about the neurons that aren't wearing those myelin jackets? Well, no offense to them, but these neurons are pretty slow. The unmyelinated neurons might get the message across, but they can be a bit forgetful and less efficient as compared to the myelinated ones. It's like snail mailing a message to someone. It gets there but takes sweet time. A quick quiz. Test yourself to see how much you've picked up. Which part of a neuron receives incoming signals from other neurons or sensory receptors?
What is the term for the small gap where two neurons communicate through neurotransmitters? Which type of a neuron carries instructions from the central nervous system to muscles or glands? Which part of a neuron insulates the axon, helping to speed up the transmission of nerve impulses?